This is the Alamo Canyon Trail, and uh, it goes to an old homestead up here. It's rained really good in the last few days, so there's just tons of uh, greenery here. It's so beautiful. I just love all these Oregon pipe cactuses and saguaros. It's just so beautiful. Pretty simple. I don't remember the man's name who owned this particular ranch, but he was a miner and he also uh, raised cattle, a few head of cattle to sell the meat to other local miners. He had a beautiful little spot here. So this isn't something you're going to see all that often, which is the creek running quite full. It's uh, been raining pretty good the last two days, so there's a lot of water still coming down out of the mountains, but yeah, it's really beautiful seeing this uh, pristine stream here. There is a rock right up there that looks just like an eagle. It's really amazing. There is this Choya cactus right here that has like tons of little parts it's put off. It basically throws off all those little parts there and uh, yeah those become other little choya cactuses. Uh, if the conditions are right, uh, hopefully like they'll get picked up and carried by an animal or an unsuspecting person and drug around. There's already one over here. Um, yeah, so that's how more choyas get made. And they're dangerous. Oh my gosh, those things are so pokey and sticky. You do not want to go anywhere near those things. I just love all the different shapes of the saguaros. They just never cease to amaze me. And there's a cactus there. One leaf looks like a, a heart and another one looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'm driving back to my campsite right now and uh, just at the entrance to this National Monument, there is an immigration checkpoint. And I've gone through a couple times and it's been empty, and then I've gone through before and there's been, you know, a, a line of cars, so I don't know how it's going to be tonight. But, yeah, I don't know, it's a little disconcerting to me because I'm just not used to this. I'm not used to the immigration checkpoints and stuff, so... I don't know, I get a little nervous going through them. Although clearly, right, I mean, I shouldn't be at all. So a school teacher, so she, so it's not something that I could have done by myself. So in that, Paul, I appreciate your call so much. Mark Friedman, what about the reinvention and at parks? Cal's and Matt Damon's zoo. So I think there may be a lesson there. We did buy a zoo. We didn't even know it. We got a zoo going. <laughs> You know, and I, I, I do think what navigating uh, uh, oh. both both Your parts of, uh, yes. of people's careers can be a problem, but it, it actually can be a benefit too when one person is continuing to make uh, their 
primary income while the other person is in a in a tour period because I think you know I am back at camp and uh, the sun is just going down so yeah I think I'm gonna make a big salad a really big salad with some chickpeas and yeah just all sorts of good stuff um, yeah it's a beautiful evening it's nice and warm I have a bunch of firewood left over the guys went and collected all that firewood and yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna burn it tonight or tomorrow I'll figure that out but yeah all right dinner time <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm officially at my second cup of coffee. Um, yeah, I've been up for a little while now. Uh, my solar panel's plugged in and I'm pretty much completely charged already because I've been plugging in every day because we have all this awesome sun. Um, this morning, I have a chore to do. I need to break up a brick of coca core for my composting toilet. So, I need to get on that right away. Um, all right, let's do that. <laughs> Cococore is the husks of coconuts and that's what I put in my composting toilet and they come in these packages of three bricks and I just buy these bricks at major pet uh, stores like Petco or PetSmart. Uh, three bricks cost ten dollars and essentially I'll use two bricks every three to four weeks basically two bricks will fill up the toilet uh, you know in that amount of time to break up the bricks I use a pair of scissors and I essentially kind of stab pieces off the brick and then I roll those pieces in between my fingers to break them up and I'll just start off with one brick today and then uh, in another week or so I'll add a little bit more and yeah, essentially, like I say, I'll use two bricks in about uh, three or four weeks. All right, so I'm finished. This is one entire brick of coca core. And uh, all right, so let's go put it where it belongs. <laughs> And all right, that is that. Pretty much all ready to use. All right, let's put it in. And so now I'm going to actually put some compostable material in my toilet. I'm gonna put this morning's coffee grounds in there. <laughs> I've been putting all my coffee grounds into the toilet um, every day and yeah, basically it makes my toilet smell like coffee, which is enjoyable. <laughs> so yeah, and I, I think it probably, I don't know, maybe it helps with the composting, uh, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Ah! 
I am at Gunsight Wash. This is BLM land, about two miles outside the gate of Oregon Pipe Cactus. And it's about 17 miles from the border. So as soon as you come in, uh, there's these big signs all around warning about smuggling and illegal immigrants and stuff. And there are a lot of Border Patrol agents all over the place. Um, you know, it might be disconcerting, but actually I feel very safe here. There's a lot of other campers here. And since there are so many Border Patrol agents, like really, I feel pretty safe. I did go talk to a couple of the Border Patrol agents and they said this is a major uh, route for immigration and for smuggling. Uh, but they said it's way over there, closer to the mountains, and that generally the uh, smugglers and immigrants do not want anything to do with uh, campers or other people because they really don't want to bring any attention to themselves. So they're not going to bother you. If you do have any uh, contact with them, it's probably going to be them asking for water or food, they said. Um, and so, really, this is a very safe area.